Welcome to Trikanakan Skill. Your lifetime career partner. Geotechnical Engineering. Introduction to Soil Mechanics. Soil mechanics is the application of laws of mechanics and hydraulics to engineering problems, dealing with sediments and other unconsolidated accumulations of solid particles produced by the mechanical and chemical disintegration of rocks, regardless of whether or not they contain an admixture of organic constituent. Introduction The term soil has different meanings in different scientific fields. It has originated from the Latin word solemn. To an agricultural scientist, it means the loose material on the Earth's crust consisting of disintegrated rock with an admixture of organic matter, which supports plant life. To a geologist, it means the disintegrated rock material which has not been transported from the place of origin. But, to a civil engineer, the term soil means, the loose unconsolidated inorganic material on the Earth's crust produced by the disintegration of rocks, overlying hard rock with or without organic matter. Soil mechanics is the study of the engineering behavior of soil when it is used either as a construction material or as a foundation material. This is a relatively young discipline of civil engineering, systematist in its modern form by Karl von Tiertzaki, 1925, who is rightly regarded as the father of modern soil mechanics. Understanding of the principles of mechanics is essential to the study of soil mechanics. A knowledge and application of the principles of other basic sciences such as physics and chemistry would also be helpful in the understanding of soil behavior. Further, laboratory and field research have contributed in no small measure to the development of soil mechanics as a discipline. The application of the principles of soil mechanics to the design and construction of foundations for various structures is known as foundation engineering. Geotechnical engineering may be considered to include both soil mechanics and foundation engineering. In fact, according to Tiertzaki, it is difficult to draw a distinct line of demarcation between soil mechanics and foundation engineering, the latter starts where the former ends. Until recently, a civil engineer has been using the term soil in its broadest sense to include even the underlying bedrock in dealing with foundations. However, of late, it is well recognized that the sturdy of the engineering behavior of rock material distinctly falls in the realm of rock mechanics, research into which is gaining impetus the world over. Development of Soil Mechanics The use of soil for engineering purposes dates back to prehistoric times. Soil was used not only for foundations but also as construction material for embankments. The knowledge was empirical in nature and was based on trial and error, and experience. The hanging gardens of Babylon were supported by huge retaining walls, the construction of which should have required some knowledge, though empirical, of earth pressures. The large public buildings, harbors, aqueducts, bridges, roads, and sanitary works of Romans certainly indicate some knowledge of the engineering behavior of soil. This has been evident from the writings of Vitruvius, the Roman engineer in the first century, BC. Mansar and Visvakarma, in India, wrote books on construction science during the medieval period. Bucinusk, in 1885, gave his theory of stress distribution in an elastic medium under a point load on the surface. Atterberg, a Swedish soil scientist, gave in 1911 the concept of consistency limits for a soil. This made possible the understanding of the physical properties of soil. Prandtl gave his theory of plastic equilibrium in 1920 which became the basis for the development of various theories of bearing capacity. Tiertzaghi gave his theory of consolidation in 1923 which became an important development in soil mechanics. Thus, he is regarded as the father of modern soil mechanics. Later on, R.R. Proctor and A. Casagrande and a host of others were responsible for the development of the subject as a full-fledged discipline. 
Fields of Application of Soil Mechanics The knowledge of soil mechanics has application in many fields of civil engineering. Foundations The loads from any structure have to be ultimately transmitted to a soil through the foundation for the structure. Thus, the foundation is an important part of a structure, the type and details of which can be decided upon only with the knowledge and application of the principles of soil mechanics. Underground and Earth Retaining Structures Underground structures such as drainage structures, pipelines, and tunnels and earth retaining structures such as retaining walls and bulkheads can be designed and constructed only by using the principles of soil mechanics and the concept of soil structure interaction. Pavement Design Pavement design may consist of the design of flexible or rigid pavements. Flexible pavements depend more on the subgrade soil for transmitting the traffic loads. Problems peculiar to the design of pavements are the effect of Repetitive loading, swelling and shrinkage of subsoil and frost action. Consideration of these and other factors in the efficient design of a pavement is a must and one cannot do without the knowledge of soil mechanics. Excavations, Embankments and Dams Excavations require the knowledge of slope stability analysis, deep excavations may need temporary supports timbering or bracing, the design of which requires knowledge of soil mechanics. Likewise, the construction of embankments and earth dams where soil itself is used as the construction material, requires a thorough knowledge of the engineering behavior of soil. Major Soil Deposits of India The soil deposits of India can be broadly classified into the following five types. Black cotton soils, occurring in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, parts of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. These are expansive in nature. On account of high swelling and shrinkage potential these are difficult soils to deal with in foundation design. Desert soils, occurring in Rajasthan. These are deposited by wind and are uniformly graded. Marine soils, occurring in a narrow belt all along the coast, especially in the Ran of Kutch. These are very soft and sometimes contain organic matter, possess low strength and high compressibility. Alluvial soils, occurring in the Indo-Gangetic Plain, north of the Vindhyachal Ranges. Lateritic soils, occurring in Kerala, South Maharashtra, Karnataka, Orissa, and West Bengal.